in so many categories, including number one in the nation. Field goal percentage defense. The tap is controlled by Houston, and Chet takes it off the floor. Jim Nance, great middle right now. Over goes a little bit. Houston tries to get Sasser going early. Here, nice rip and go. Roberts, and it comes off the There rim. they are. Walker. Last half there by Jasper of the Tigers. And Raft, that's what Houston does so well. Offensive rebound. It's going to be a must for Auburn to keep them off the glass. The Cougars, one of the best on the glass in all of the, all of the country. Nice movement here to get Sasser going on a curl. He's moving well. Interesting. Sasser has Flanagan shadowing him. Here is Walker taking all the way in. Spin uh -huh. move. Up he goes. Tap. No. Tapped again. No. And then chased. And on the line, Auburn. So it'll stay with Houston. A long possession for this team that really relied on the bigs in the win against Northern Kentucky. It wasn't easy knocking out the 16 seed on Thursday night. Uh, they're a quality team. Think of the bubble on a rim, and they run that at practice. They chase everything on the glass. You must stick them and go get it. Nice look. That is Sasser with the three. And that's a good sign right there for Houston. Sasser is so important to this offensive attack. When he's healthy, they are as efficient offensively of any team. College basketball. All those quick hands and rebounds. It was a possession that lasted about 50 seconds and led to Sasser getting a quick bucket. There's a wild shot into the arms of Flanagan. They'll go back out high with it to Green to reset. Looks like it's right right now. Yeah, yeah, a little wrinkle. He does play it on occasion, but I haven't seen it this early. Nice entry to Williams. And this kid, he can get it going too. 11 a game. Uh, boy, they were ready for it though, right? They were. Filled the foul line. Yep, found a little. Open spot in the middle of that zone. That may be the help Sasser, Jim, by the way. Here's Mark. Wildly putting it up. That was not a good shot as Auburn had it well defended. No one didn't like that shot at all. This is the key to keep Green from destroying with that penetration. Green, again, oh. big numbers the other day. Williams able to save it on the sideline. And now Green wanting to challenge Mark. Gets inside Great. and throws. This is the layup, but not the tap in. And that's triple what penetration right there. The help, the helper. Broom able to take advantage on the glass. But interesting right there. Mark on Green trying to use his length to keep him out of the paint. Green still got there. All the points at the start of this game. Both ends off offensive rebounds as Roberts waits. And again had the good look. Unable to connect close range. They try to push the tempo, beat him before that great defense is set. And twice now he's been able to turn the corner. Nice Broom. entry. Broom able to score him with Walker on his back. Uh, really not at home defensively with the denial being in the right spot for that entry. 6 3 start for Auburn. Big size advantage for Mark on this matchup against Green. I like Walker in that mid post and ooh, the rip through and Flanagan bites. Boy, Sasser's done that a bunch this season. Gets the defender to commit, he'll shoot three. Great seal right there inside. Awareness from Green catching him. And not often you see someone get that great a position against this interior defense of Houston. Room continuing with his stellar play here early. So the American Conference Player of the Year and the first. First team AP All-America at the University of Houston since Akeem Olajuwon 39 years ago. Marcus Sasser to shoot three. Best Coke ever. Take a taste and see for yourself. They got to be hats off to the training and doctors in the use of program. And led by Longtime trainer John Houston. Heavily financed that right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to know where to put your money, right? <laughs> but Sasser played just 14 minutes on Friday night and re aggravated an injury that first happened in the conference tournament last week. He gets all three at the line. He's got all six for Houston. Re aggravated it, but it wasn't anything serious. He just felt something on a pull up jumper. And they set him the entire second half as they were eventually able to pull away from the Norse in the end. We got Shed on Green. Now the automatic switch with Sasser. I would take him. There you go, the hesitation. Green. So good. Wow, that echo high off the glass. What a confident 
The little guy with a big time ticker. Little blow by. Eight points for Auburn, and all of them have come in the paint. The LaHorn set with a brush screen. Pretty. And great awareness, knowing that Green, a smaller defender on Mark. Great call there by Kelvin Sampson, but better execution. Speaking of in the paint, so Mark able to get the bucket. Tie this game at eight. That's for up right back to Williams trying to work on Walker. That shot deflected and picked up by Mark. A turnover here, I think. Yep. Right in front of the Houston bench. And Sasser saying I was fouled, but they say it's off the Cougars. I think Kevin agrees with him too. I'll tell you what a nice move. Room comes outside. They end up with a nice little slip to the goal. And I don't know, maybe just a, a turnover. Again, the ability with Groom outside to get a look here. Williams inside now steps out. Now that's Walker able to pull it down. The Houston Bigs, when they go for a rebound, it's often two hands on the ball. Here's Shed. Nice Double teamed, and he goes back out to Walker. Long rebound ah! to Mark, and he's got back to back buckets. And Mark just does the little things defends, makes cuts, the right place at the right time. He must have an impact on this game and having that early. It's interesting at this end, they have him on Flanagan, not at the other end. Auburn's putting Green on Flanagan. Out to Green it is. Sasser eyeing him inside. Oh, what a oh, got away from him and banks it home. I'll tell you what, they are really doing a nice job going side to side, ball fakes, triple drives. This kid, his impact early. Again, this is a Houston team that defensively only allows about 55 points a game, and they've got up 10 already in the paint. I like this taking advantage size-wise. Mark, he's hit three straight shots. What a great read. Shed, the conference defensive player of the year. Well, what's happening is on the switches. I thought him stepping out for it's Broom, not this time. And it's Walker controlling underneath. Well, he's made nine this year. Going for the ball early. Sasser going for one. And drills it. And he makes such a difference for this team. Big time player, Sasser. And a pretty good defender in Flanagan oh. with some size. Knock down deep. I think Auburn, they got to keep with this screen and roll situation. Green being very crafty, crafty, turning the corner, setting the table for himself and his teammates. Uh, trying to corral this guy. So difficult. Nice help. Oh. And that's Roberts. blocked out of bounds by Roberts, and we go to the first break. Sasser has nine of Houston's 15. Mark has the other six. That right there is big time basketball. Sasser stepping up, playing a little gimpy, but getting nothing but treatment the last 40 hours or so, and looking really good here at the start. Now, this is the key here how they keep moving out. People trying to light it up deep. Look at Shed go up and get that rebound. Love this one of his teammates. Heart. Love this competitive zeal he possesses. Chess are much more active, too, without the ball. Look, look at a nice replace here for him. Stuck and goes back out to Shed. Shed. We'll keep an eye on that clock. He knows how to beat it. We saw him do that at the wire nice. Smith. Hopkins hands. And he is blocked by Cardwell on the way up. How about a nice little dive by Cheney, too? Just the composure to keep the bounce alive and off the dribble. Not a lot of guys can make that little play. Empty side overload right. And what I love, Cheney, he sought the contact there, too. Didn't try to avoid it. Went into the chest there to initiate it. Draw that foul and get to the line. Very short with the first one. The senior out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Another one of the big bodies that rotates down low with uh, Jawan Roberts. He struggles from that line, though, to 39%. And Auburn must lock out here on yeah. the free throw line. As they got to know. Second one good. All that. 16 10 Houston in the opening six minutes. See if they stay at home, Grant, with, with Green. They've been switching. It's really good. Cool. They're trapping it this time. They've got KD in the game for the first time. KD Johnson, here he is. Boy, they can step it up and rotate the back. Johnson brings in instant energy. Here he is on the far side. This is what you got to do against this defense, though. Green again with a head fake, doing a lot of that. Oh, the lob was really up in the sky, and Houston able to take it away. I don't think Grand Hill could have got that one. <laughs> 
Uh, trying to ice it one way. Walker, he can shoot this. Three off the front of the rim. Houston had scored on six straight trips before that. 51. I think you could live with that, though, if you're Auburn. Empty side here. See if he goes. No. Right now, Houston trapping all screen and roll action. There's a show. Yes. How about Cromwell diving to the rim? It's Flanagan who found him, and Cardwell did that little hesitation step to get the Houston defender to commit and leave the area. But that rotation was not quite up to Houston's level. He took great advantage of it. Shed. Nice <laughs> Cheney. Oh, he was right underneath, but goes instead to Sasser. And that's pulled down by Green. Cheney might have had an easy bucket underneath, but he went back out. Here's KD Johnson. And Auburn delivers the three. And we know that young man likes to play when the bright lights are on. <laughs> steps up against the quality competition. He's the ultimate wild card. He's got the head shaking, making faces. He's ready. The first points for the Tigers from outside the paint area. And he's going to come in and bring an energy and a whole lot of passion. This is where I love this kid right now. That oh, is post up. You cannot control him in that area. Now Flanagan wanted to go baseline. Mark shuts it off. Here's the help now. Quick recovery. Excellent. The Johnson. The Sasser looking at him. Williams. Goes in, and it's going to be a foul call against Houston. It's going to be a Walker. KD Johnson, as he does so often, comes in, makes a splash right away for the Tigers. Well, Williams is at the line for the Tigers. First round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues tonight on ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, and ESPN News. For more information, game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. We got Chris Moore coming in for Williams. Moore was shaken up in the game against Iowa the other day. He suffered a shoulder injury, and it didn't sound like he was feeling all that great yesterday during the practice session back here in the building. Right shoulder, and last year we had the shin surgery, so he could beat up pretty good. Sasser being guarded by Johnson. Roberts way away from the basket. Now they slip. Morgan, he's pretty good in the lane, too. Great footwork, generally tough shot. Look at this chase. That's Roberts, and that's going to be a reach in on Auburn. <laughs> and Berman in the neighborhood there. I mean, it's tough to put a body on the bigs because they, they not only are big and strong, they're quick. Also, regarding him, you have to keep him off the glass, and maybe somebody else on your team, don't get Auburn, goes in and secures the rebound. Oh, don't move him off. Sasser not able to get it off in time. Wisely checked on it. There's the floater. And Tash got his own rebound. Passed up a three. Passed up again. Sharp. Look at this pursuit. Mark that time again. Goodness. And Bruce Pearl on his team, imploring them to box out, show some toughness here. Well, how many coaches have we seen scream on the sideline about that? Houston's missed 11 shots and picked up seven offensive rebounds. Here's Sharp. Big Believe game down wide line. open. Steps back for the three, and he got it. What a nice find on the Massasser with the five, but. The link, but they're great at defending the baseline out of bounds, Auburn. The freshman out of Tampa, Florida, gave them the big boost in the last 10 minutes of that game against the Norris and Darren Horn's team. Gave Houston a ball can handle as Katie Johnson drives in. And it'll be a foul first before the shot. Gonna be on Mark. Well, this is just a wide open look. Pretty upsetting for a team that prides itself in stopping out of bounds. He can't believe it. Goodness. Especially of all people to leave wide open. <laughs> right? Sharp, who hit some big shots Thursday in their matchup. Two big threes back to back. Well, Bruce got to develop a little personality, though. Uh, yeah. Really lacking. Nice open look here. A good catcher pass. KD Johnson. 
Got two on him now. And here's the rotation. Again, sloppy passing. Donaldson. Oh, oh man, he didn't miss the other night. Three for three from the outside. He continues to be on fire. And really, it's solid kid. Doesn't turn the ball over much. 39 assists. This is where I like him now. Back yourself in. Nice cut, but not a good look. Picked off the floor, though, by Roberts, who missed it with no one really on him with an arm in the area or anything. So he's had some chances down low that just haven't dropped. On this rotation, you got to be careful with Berman. He's got a terrific shooter if they go to him. Boom. He draws the foul. And, and no dig from the top, yeah, too. Yeah, typically, Houston, they like to double team, wow. trap the post. Broom able to just back down from the, essentially from the three point line and draw that foul. That game by Broom two days ago 19 points, 12 rebounds, and five blocks, giving him 10 double doubles on the season. Watch CBS Sports HQ for free 24-7 coverage of the big dance and all of the biggest moments in sports. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, much more. Just download the CBS Sports app. Watch today. Missed them both, but Berman comes out with it. And Johnson says, you leave me there, I'll take it. A nice check out by Sharp, too. Stepped out of bounds on the sideline. I'll tell you, both these teams and Sass are keeping that leg warm on the bike while on the bench, but wow, when that ball goes up on the glass, <laughs> they are really getting after it. Reckless abandon they oh. go after. Reggie Cheney back in for Walker. It's a Cheney and Roberts combo down low for Houston. Don't see that all the time. Occasionally, it's Broom. I'll take away that. Right shoulder. Donaldson still hasn't missed in two days. He's five for five from out there. And when you double team the post, you have to find shooters. Great pass from Broom. Great knockdown. That's his 13th three of the year. What a contribution the last couple of nights. Yeah, the freshman from Tallahassee. 13 on the year. He's got five here in the tournament. Five of them. He's giving Auburn the lead. I don't know if this is the ISO guy you want. Mark, that and shot was blocked. Donaldson right on it. And he's up ahead. Nice and Mark stole it. What a steal it was. Eat to Cheney, who makes the grab. Talk about effort. <laughs> he's like Kenny Houston there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big time game here, guys. You can just feel it. Plays at both ends as Shed drives. That was Auburn's first turnover a moment ago. Off the bike and about to check back in is Sasser. Shed hasn't scored so far in this game. 11 minutes into it. You know, hasn't taken as, a shot either. As good as he is, he, he can really win a game without scoring. Yes. And they prefer ringing the bell, obviously, with distributing, guarding, and leadership qualities. And now him inbounding out to Sasser. Well, he's got it, I think. Nice Scott pass. Roberts. Great. He's on the board. How about Sasser? But when you can shoot, you throw that D. Little bounce. And pop. And I like for Auburn, I like going inside to Broome taking that double team and finding shooters. And they want to run this ball screen. They want to see that rotation and catch them. Double team coming. Yeah, Broken. same thing. Barside Berman from Birmingham passes it up. Donaldson comes in, and there's contact by Cheney. And Donaldson did a smart thing. He attacked the closeout, came to a jump stop, able to draw the foul. But you said it best, Jim. We have a ball game race. It's bitch a a ton. Tigers bench plays 35% of his minutes, and Trey Donaldson had a great game in that first round, and he's backing it up here early in this second. And they play for a stand-up comedian. Ooh, tough thing to do. Yeah. Well, how is that possible? You hit your first five threes in the tournament, and you put up an air ball from the free throw. It's too close. Two for two for free throws the other <laughs> yeah, night. Yeah, didn't miss right. them. And he missed them both. Go figure. See which way they go now. By the way, Arkansas and Kansas are coming down to the wire, and that's on CBS. Got about seven seconds to go, and Kansas, a one seed, is down one. Here's the outside shot, and it rattles out, but there's a foul call. And the act of a sh shooting a three. And it's just beautiful play by Shed. He started it all, got them in rotation, 
gave it up to Cheney, and how about this? This kid, you just can't leave him open. And this rattles, but opportunity he was terrific the other night as well. Yeah. Sharp. I don't want you guys to go anywhere. We're going to stay right here on TBS, but again, as we do this tournament in concert with our friends from Turner, CBS and Turner, this Kansas and Arkansas game has three seconds to go. It's on CBS, and Arkansas is up three with three seconds to go. Wow. So we're about to possibly lose our second number one with Purdue getting shot last night by Fairleigh Dickinson. What a what what muscle amazing, every year, right? Yeah. Well, what an amazing first week. <laughs> Surprising first week of this tournament. Oh, man. I oh. almost can't explain it. My brackets are. You're not the only one, though. <laughs> I mean, who would have had it? <laughs> If that holds up, that means there will only be two number one seeds left, and they're both right here in Birmingham with Houston on the floor and Alabama in the game right after it against Maryland. Containment. We can get a lot of rest out there. Nelson taking on Shed. Oh. There was contact before the shot. Just couldn't get him to turn. Well, also, too, Shed was anticipating the ball screen, turned his head to the left, and great awareness from Donaldson. As you can see right here, Shed was looking to the left, anticipating a ball screen. And Donaldson impressive here. And same side there, Sharp's got to stay at home on the three-point shooter in the corner. First foul on Shed and Auburn to inbound underneath. That's five team fouls on the Cougars. And nice. beat him on the inbounds to Flanagan. Oh, what a great setup. Anticipating going left, Flanagan. Little step and go. What a find. It's final. Kansas is out. The Jayhawks, the number one seed, have been eliminated by Arkansas. Wow. Meanwhile, Sasser with the floater, and no one there to even help on the offensive glass. And that was last touch by Green. Shed standing there for that turnover. That's two turnovers on the Tigers so far. I'm just looking up the floor, and what a nice little anticipation here. And that shed is a nudge on that defensive end. Gets that in the right hand, correct hand, too, not reaching across. Inbounds pass. Wow. Sasser got there to. Slip. Well, since it was touched, Cheney touched it at midcourt, and then Sasser, once he put a hand on it, I guess a backcourt violation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, Jawan Roberts there got trapped in the corner. That's all he could do. Yeah, he was dead in that corner. I'll tell you what, what was really done a nice job on this offensive end. Getting free, getting looks like this. He looks hardy on the but he closeout. He hesitated on that three. He's not used to being free against this team. Mark, he, he wants this it. three. That's wide. Nice rebound. That's last touch by Auburn. I don't mind. I mean, Mark took that shot. He felt it, but you had a mismatch inside. Wendell Green guarding Walker. Got to have that awareness there. Take advantage of those mismatches if you're Houston. The teams have run great out of bounds. Got whatever, a little hole by Green. Unnecessary, really on that little double screen from Mark. That's his first. Houston shooting just 35%. Little back screen and sensor pops. Needs some help. Able to get it to Roberts. Again, Shed has not even taken a shot from the floor. But that would have been a perfect trap situation on the sideline. Ten. Four. Pull up. Got it. it looked For like his shot in Memphis to very much so. <laughs> Except he didn't sprint the length of the floor. No? Yeah. <laughs> Same location. Yeah. Exactly. 27 24 Houston. Flanagan. A nice recovery there. Show by Roberts. Tigers really played well down the stretch here. Look at this shot. Back to the rim. Cardwell. And it's going to be on Auburn, on Cardwell. Yeah. Push on Roberts. Yeah, Raph, does remind you of that at the end of the game? Yeah, in Memphis? Memphis. Uh, very similar. This one with a little dance, a little nylon. Big time competitor, this kid. 
And I love it when guards have mismatches against bigs and they don't settle. They get them moving, move those feet, get them off balance, get to a spot. Shed. Impressive. Here's Roberts shooting a one and one. Junior out of St. Thomas. Virgin Islands. And back of the rim. Shoulder slumped as he felt confident of that line, but it didn't go. A good free throw shooter, too, at yeah. 68. They're really doing a great job with it. Whereas the ball screens are moving the ball side to side. Little dribbles were wide open. Yeah, totally <laughs> open. And that costs Houston's Williams. defense. Williams drills the three. Double figures six of the last seven games and the 40th tray for him. Two out of seven from the field now for this game with six points. Ties the game at 27. Not riding Walker at all. They had a mismatch on this side to take advantage just as before, Grant. Trying to come off the screen. Shed. Now under 10. They're gonna step back, take a three. Nice and rebound, Mark. Mark. And they got it on the floor. And we get Jasper. Oh, green. Second, right? Two on green. Two on green. You're, you're watching Mark at the other end on Flanagan, and Kelvin Sampson said that would be one of the really important matchups for his team. He's held Flanagan so far to two. Again, he's not being defended by Flanagan at the other end, but this is for front end of a one on one. They miss back to back. He has six for the game. Consecutive missed front ends for the Cougars. They're running that little horns look. Oh, my goodness. Is that deep? Oh, my goodness. That was up in the air for a long time. I'll tell you what, their guards play with such confidence. Green with seven to go with four assists. How do you guard him? Because he's so explosive as well. well I think if you're Houston right now, you got to go at Green. They can post him up with Mark. Yeah, he has two fouls. Almost a zone look at the back there. Now Jasper trying to shut down the All-America. Sasser. Sasser step back three. And spins out. Auburn on a little flurry as Flanagan. Thought about coast to coast. Shed put a halt to that. Nice slip here. Broom to Broom and he's fouled on the way up by Walker. Active shooting. And that's such a smart play there by Broom. Knowing they're going to trap that screen and roll. A beautiful slip. But right now, Bruce Pearl is smiling. Going on an 8-2 to two run. And let's go over to Tracy. I went into the Calvin Sampson's huddle at the half. At, I'm sorry, at that timeout right there. And he talked about little things. That's what he wrote on the board. Little things. Details. We heard him over and over talk about details. He said, we're in the one-on-one. -on -one. We need to make our free throws. We're just giving up too much right now. The details and the little things, that's the key for them right now to get back in this. Yeah, missing the front end. You're not to tell the Cougar Nation about missing front end is one-on-one. -on -one. It still hurts from 1983. Here's Shed with the jumper short. Mark trying to fight for it. Saved by Flanagan and Auburn on the run again. I like the wrinkle switching that full court pressure. Nice help here. Shed. Shed from behind. That's they, why he's the uh, American Conference Defensive Player of the Year right there. Shed competes on both ends. And little fella with the big block. They got him to rush with that pressure, too. There's that lob pass generally over the top. Green for the big first half. Oh, there's that little trap they like to run. Look at that open middle. Williams, he's hit one already. That one circles around and out. Rebounded by Mark. Nice check out, too. Houston with one basket over the last five minutes. Sasser's been quiet since he came back in, Jim. Yes, yeah, since he got on the bike, took that break, he hasn't scored. He had that big start with nine points early. Still at that number. Nice cut. Cheney. Late, and they are really struggling in their half court sets. They got three to shoot. Shed. Stutter step, puts it up. And Flanagan again. They're struggling. Auburn's defense yeah. really neutralizing this attack from the Cougars. And they don't get back in cover. Williams. That one bounces around and in. A little triple drive off because they didn't recover. Not typical. 
Abuse the D right now. It's a 10 nothing run for Auburn. Their leading scorer for the game has been Jalen Williams. With that bucket now has eight. Biggest lead for either team in fact. Slip. Roberts is able to take the feed from Jed. How good is that? Finally executed on the offensive end. Got something good there at the rim. There's Walker not on the floor. They don't have a lot of options on the offensive end either. And the Houston, they, they got to get some stops here. Auburn's really picking apart this defense. And Sasser thought he can make the steal and go uncontested. Under two minutes. Now they swing it over to Flanagan. Head fake and drive it Look in. at the screen by Burrow. Goodness, what a seal. It, and one. It doesn't look like an assist in the in the book, but big time opportunity. Let his partner. Here's the seal. And the, the ability to turn the corner and finish. Boy, they are decimating the D. I have not seen this all year. Getting away with what they're doing. Well, first of all, Auburn not really a great three-point shooting team, but shooting 41% from the three-point line. Houston making adjustments, closing out. They're just driving right by them at will and getting to that paint. Seven-point lead for Auburn. There's Shed. Nice hesitation. And he got fouled. The basket counts. I think Johnson on the rear. What a great deployment, too. The overload on the left. You got four guys. Shed. Billy used that left hand right here, and everybody frozen in time. Uh, a fake stunt. This is one he should have just blocked the shot. Well, he was worried about the drop off yeah. pass right there, but as you said, Shed with the great move and finish. So important to this team's success. Obviously, Sasser gets a lot of the credit. Walker, freshman phenom, but he is the catalyst for this team. Second foul on KD Johnson. You were asking Kelvin Sampson about how this team can change things during a game, kind of self correct, and he says, it all starts by having a smart point guard. And he is. Yep. And, and you were telling me quite a football player, too. Yeah, he right? was recruited by a number of big time college programs to be a running back, but he wanted to play basketball. One visit at Houston, he was in. Zone look right here. Looking for a stop and go. Williams. Nice foot getting right there and drawing the foul. The basket's good. Now, this team. Obviously, both teams are very well coached. They did that on their own against the zone. Filled that foul line, and right here, the ability to go right for the southpaw. And Shed just couldn't get a piece of it. Second foul on Shed. As Auburn has the upper hand, up seven with the a team that's second in the nation in scoring defense. Gives up 56 points a game, and they've already given up 38. And that tells you the ability offensively. The deployment. Make it 39. And of course, it started early with dribble penetration, which seldom happens against Houston. Shed stays on the floor for this final minute of the first half with two fouls. Mark Hamley. Sasser's got to do some damage, not a. There's Mark. Not a good look. A good look, but it doesn't drop, and Broom is the one with the rebound and now the Tigers looking for more with Green. They'll go two for one this team. over by Walker. No change of possession. Over the top they nice get the help. room. There's help but Broom fights for it and he gets it. And Walker had to be careful right there with the foul trouble he has but great awareness, great patience, footwork and touch. Broom inside getting it done. Broom with eight points, four rebounds and a timeout called by Houston. To map out the last 24 seconds. We'll get him an opportunity. I like him in that mid post. Yeah, that's his that's his game. Right? No question about it. Shot clock turned off. As KD Johnson stays right with Shed near midcourt. Because if you're Auburn, you're thinking check out, don't give him a second chance at the glass. Shed. Well, you work that screen and a shift. Look at this D, pretty impressive. One Not second to go, and Sasser puts it up, looking for the foul, and there is no call. But they ready defensively. Shakespeare, Shakespeare would have written sonnets about the excellence of this Auburn D. Woohoo! Showing you, that they are that took education That's after it. Now. Uh, as everybody from Houston does, his leadership qualities are have to show themselves. A little double on the inbounds here. There were only four turnovers combined in that first half, two apiece. 
Like the aggression right here. Trying to establish a little identity early. Automatic switch. As Flanagan has Sasser on him. And this is the guy that's really played well, Williams. There's the doubles. Got a fill. Broom working it and slides off the front of the rim. A pretty good start defensively by Houston. Not out. a bad look either, Joe. No, it was down low. Sasser puts it over to Mark. And Sasser at 60%. I think Walker's got to get engaged and involved. Too talented to be this quiet thus far. And they're getting late in the shot clock. I know they're comfortable, but this defense has really done a wonderful job putting the heat on. Mark, he blows in and scores. He That's passed up the three, got the layup. That's what Tracy said. Covington drive the basketball attack, break him down. Same play, they just exchanged. Green, that's rejected. Two players got a hand on it. I agree. Maybe Walker will get the call for it. Who's this? Trailer, Sasser, and tipped around. Roberts wants it, gets it. This is the layup. That is, this end. That is Houston right there, isn't it? Attacking that rim. Well, they responded at halftime, Kelvin Sanson. Look at this defense here, not giving up on the play. Got a little bit of the arm right there. Got away with it. You said the inbound outside to Walker. He's going to take the three. Gets it. Took two earlier. Didn't make him. Too much talent. As you know, that, that he can beat you in so many spots. Got to elevate his game if they want to get back in this. Right now, Auburn has no life right now. The energy they had there at the end of the first half is non-existent. 90 seconds into the half, they cut the lead by half. And they're not able to turn the corners they did earlier with Green on a dribble drive. And now Shed. They get the, that's going to be his third. Uh, just couldn't get to the spot. Right. Kelvin not really happy with it. We talk about talent right here. Walker, so good, so skilled, and has to be more engaged offensively. Great, confident shooter on that one. Nice screen. How about that back screen call? Excellent execution. First points of the half for Auburn. Mark, very good to be a settles for the deep one. Doesn't go. I like him attacking. Back outside the shed. That's long. And Walker's going to save it. What a save. The Sasser with the pull up jumper for two. That was Walker. How about Walker? All oh, Walker with his fingerprints on that one. Seven two start to the half of the Cougars. There's Broom. Same play. Good on the other side. He just had to pass it. And a wide open look at the rim for Jesper. Big man. Collapse, and that's going to count. Score to go. I think it hit the glass first. And it's going to be a foul as well. Uh, they're not. Let's see. A foul and and a goaltending right there. No, they're not going to the goal. That should be a goaltending. Yeah. No question. The ball hit the backboard first. Definitely. Shed so good in open court. You can see a different personality right now. And he used to, you've got to match it now if you're Robert. Shed going to the line to shoot two. And that clearly hit the yeah. glass. This call right there. I think Gene would have even gotten that one right. <laughs> First to two for Shed. Houston, seven out of 12 from the line. And uh, Gene, the goaltend, no goaltend. What's your take? Now it is just a goaltend. And as Raf said, I think I could have gotten that one right in real time, too, Jim, every once in a while. Yeah, but off the glass goaltending. I used to put that whistle in your pocket in the old days. <laughs> Catch that early flight. They end up with two on the trip. There it is again, Gene. I think Auburn right now has to get back to running some high screen and roll action. Gave Houston problems. I, I, like, that, I like that flex cut. These back screens have been effective. But they passed up one. Plenty got it the other. There's Green. Again, Shed defending with three fouls. Under 10 on the shot clock, setting up for the screen, driving in on Sasser, and they're going to get Sasser with the body, which is going to be his second. Best Coke ever. Take a taste and see for yourself. 
And that's what Grant was calling for that ball screen. Well, right there, it looked like Flanagan turned down the ball screen. Houston anticipating it, drove hard to that left hand, and that's it get into the line. And there's Cardwell on the floor for Auburn. Coming in for Broom. Uh, Flanagan said, was he a roommate with Marcus? One of those other 18, other 19 teams, if I'm not mistaken. We're at a camp. Yeah, they spent some time together. Yeah, they sure did. did say that. This will get him going a little bit. Extend to the floor. Automatic switch. Sasser working around. That screen. Step back. Cut it to two. He hits it. He does. Oh, shot. That, that is a big time shot maker. Kill it. From 10 to two in less than four minutes. Yeah. It all started with this uh, up tempo defense. That would tack the rim a little bit. Nice ball movement. Green. The green didn't even look tentative. Flanagan gonna try a tough one. Front of the rim, tapped around and into the arms of Walker. That was Mark who knew what he was doing there. He tapped it to his teammate. And now Sasser thought about it. Head fake and he's knocked to the floor by Jasper. Sasser in Houston lining it up to start the second half. 12 4 beginning. They've worked their way back into it quickly. Auburn's lead is due. A big thing, I think, for Auburn now is they got to turn the corner, but Green not, not really pushing it and attacking. Nice Auburn turn in. And, and stay at this end. And I'll tell you, man, Jawan Roberts has missed maybe three or four of those little layups. Contested off the glass, getting to his spot, just can't convert. Williams with a little push on this weak side here. First on think, Williams. I think, I think yep. Mark got the, uh, up with one, rid of one, too. Sets her in the corner. See if he can drive it. There you go. What a pull up that is. And underneath is Flanagan with the box out on Roberts. They look pretty good there. This is what they need, a little more of this. Blocked by Walker, and he retrieved it. Well, they've come up with some blocks in this half. Uh, pretty good reaction. It's a little too deep for Green. Used to be seven blocks for the game. And there's a block at that end. Uh, and it's block. going the other way. It was off shed. Oh, well, well, letting everybody know. Yeah, big time recovery. And this one, he really lost control a little bit. Fumbled. A big time reaction, number 25. Jervais Walker. And Cardwell. He can and get up right off the top of the head. And, Shed and Auburn gets the ball back. And then a little flex action and number of Tom Davis. I think they got to go to it more often, really get some open looks. All the way to the corner. And that's well, out of bounds. And a smart trap there in the corner on KD Johnson. Forced that turnover. How about passing and catching? That's it. That's goodness. Especially against all this pressure. You got to catch, uh, pass and catch and execute. Bruce Pearl's team has made one basket in this half, and they've had three shots blocked. That's that mid post. He's going to back his guy in. If you help her hands. Second one on Williams. He's not happy. Got to watch himself, though. He's so hard to defend. Walker, he gets that ball ripped through. He's so strong and skilled. Great awareness there, throwing that foul. Now he has to sit. How effective was Williams for Auburn there in that first half? Yeah, really solid. Pretty good matchup for a while that first half with Walker, too. 14 fouls on Auburn in the first five minutes of the half. Chad driving in, leads the corner. That's shot off by Johnson. Keeping the ball in three of the players' hands. Sasser, Shed, and here's Shed for the lead. Comes up short. A good defensive possession right there for Auburn. Had to shoot it too, though, late. Well, sometimes when they throw me the ball and it was a short clock, I'd throw it right back. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like getting stuck with it. You messed up my field goal percentage. Uh, it really made you what you are. <laughs> Nice little use of the bump for Johnson. Johnson long with the shot, but Flanagan picks it off the floor, and out the green they go. 
They're taking a lead green open. He made one of those in the first half. Hey, Roberts, you battle up a closeout. Watch that. Five men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code now to, da oh, to download. Auburn one out of eight from the field this half. Mark's got green on him. And we'll be right him a little bit. Now got that, that good little switch by Johnson. Houston's had already three trips to tire take the lead. And now on the way in, it's lost by Walker. I think he just lost it. Yeah, Broom. Broom. Bro moves those feet pretty good. He does. Right here just gets in the spot with great control. Houston's had his chances to completely come back, but Auburn's deed it up at that end. And it's been at this score for a while. No one has scored for the last two and a half minutes, in fact. They can't leave Donaldson alone, by the way. He's on the floor now. Not afraid to drill the deep one either. Yeah, he made two out of two in that first half. Nice, Hezzy. Pretty. Everything up and look at the reaction. Just magnificent, Roberts. And that's the reaction you're seeing that's different than the first half. Mm -hmm. They were on their heels a little too much defensively, Houston, but. Seven to shoot, more to inbound. Outside the Flanagan. Well, duck in, they got him. Oh, he's in there a long There's time. Four on the base. Oh, yeah. Look at that lock. They got locked by Walker. Absolutely, but also the defense in front. Solid. Got a Banks. Again, no points scored either way for three minutes. Step back three. That's his Houston game. has taken the lead. He loves it. He adds a little crossover once in a while. Big suffering. Trying to guard him. That coming off the fifth block at the other end. Fifth block of the game by Walker. And it's a 15-4 run to start the half. Great individual ability prevailing. Nice bump here by Broome. Nice. Broome. Oh, Underneath, and he gets fouled by Walker. Walker. Number three, I think, Jim. It is his third, and Sasser, though, boy, he was setting up this shot even over the center for the Tigers. 60%. Yeah, you're not talking about what he's <laughs> shooting from the field either. No. <laughs> Kelvin's got an unusual barometer. Here's Janai Broom, third in the SEC in rebounds, third in blocks. Grew up in the Tampa area, played some prep ball against Emmanuel Sharp of Houston. They've known each other for a while. Boom scoreless this half. He's got one more. And that ties it at 46. Well, let's set that press up. They're trying to stimulate a little offense off their defense. Cougars with Shed and Walker each with three. 12 and a half to go. Winner advances to Kansas City in the Midwest Regional. Francis on the floor for the first time. Nice cut. Oh my goodness. Perfect setup. Not a good delivery. Yeah, the pass was too low. Bounced it in there. Great read right there. Getting into the. He's great off that hand. The bounce, isn't he? With that delivery. Normally, normally he is. Just not a good look. Good pass at all. Will weave entry pretty low. Boom. Fouled first. And look, every time Boom Sasser catches maybe. it, every time he catches it, 3 4 Cougars on him. That's on Xavier Francis, who's come into the game. Good one going here in Birmingham. He's been number one for seven weeks this season. Playing before the opponent's biggest crowd, biggest home crowd of the year. They didn't lose a true road game as Johnson splits it the dice. Nice. And Ooh, wow. Xavier <laughs> Francis <laughs> blocked it. But that foul thing. was called on him. And Jim, things happen when he's on the floor. He can block some shots, offensive rebound, excellent D. Did they get underneath there, maybe Sasser? It is on Sasser. It's his third. So that puts KD Johnson at the line. Sasser with three, Shed with three, Walker with three for Houston. 
Yeah, Houston 11 and 0 in true road games this year and since the brackets were released last week. Sampson was looking ahead at the possibility of this matchup and playing a nine seed in the state of Alabama wasn't happy about it but he says you know what we've always stepped up to the occasion. He's very good at using something to his advantage would you say. Oh yeah. Walker too strong with it pulled down by Moore of Auburn. I think Walker went a little too quick. A really good look I think too. He's got to dribble it in. And got Francis with the nickel dimer. A lot of whistles lately. Yeah, that's going to be the sixth foul of the half on Houston. And Francis is going to be out in a second, I think. Come back with Roberts. Yeah, two on Francis, and as he goes out. Well, those foul problems. Shows you the trust. Coming down the stretch, all the trust he has for his backcourt, keeping him in. Yeah, they're the top guys. Johnson. Way outside. That looked good. Nice chase. Four. Four, yeah. Auburn going. But Houston absolutely despises when they got beat on the glass at this end. A mismatch. Ooh, Look at this from the stepping up for a two. Johnson. And a great play by Walker. Foul on Sasser, maybe. Let's see. Wow. It is. It's his fourth. Tell you, Walker did a great job running him off the three point line, not cleaning up the glass. And this is painful for Houston. He's got to let that go of your Sasser right there, swiping at Broom. And the frustration knowing that that was a big time call. He'll have to sit now. Yeah, we're going to bring Mark back in for him. Sasser, who was a leading scorer for Houston at the Final Four in 21 when they lost in the semifinals to eventual champion. Baylor. They've got a lot of Final Four experience on this team. Mark saw minutes. Robert saw minutes. Shed saw a little bit of action. Sasser, he played. Uh, put the strength here. They, they're saying it didn't hit the rim. They're going the, go the other way. Short armed it. Now you got the issue. Sasser sits too long. Will he tighten up too? That great yeah. point to put him on the bike. Put him on the bike in the back. This is where they need Shed. He's got to get everybody organized, get it the right spot, and maybe post up Walker 10, 12 feet mid post. And the other night, it was Sharp, 21, the freshman who hit some big threes when they needed it late. And, and Jim, that's what they go to here. Pretty good fight by Moore. Or with the jumper, and it go. somehow goes. And he's had a couple of those looks here tonight. They haven't gone, but nice read. Getting to the paint. The score. 10 points for Mark. Williams leads Auburn with 11. Broom has 10. Here's KD Johnson. That was blocked. But it's Broom again. And he is clobbered. Sharp, I think. Lucky Walker right there. He was. It's sharp. Yep. It's sharp. Whew. Auburn's not backing off. You had mentioned it earlier, Jim. Doing a great job on the glass. I mean, you compete with Houston. That's high level performance. Well, a lot of it, they're driving to the rim, forcing rotation. And Broom, great anticipation and ability to draw the foul. There's Broom. Good stroke with that one. And yeah, they closed the door. Broom, who competed in the NCAA tournament a couple of years ago when he was at Moorhead State. Second one, long and out to Mark. Good the job taking the shooter on the foul line there by Mark. Yeah, well, Broom, give you an idea what he's done. He's drawn six fouls today. Here's Shed, seeing it's not there, so he comes back out with it. Halfway through the second half, Mark trying to tie it, and he does. That's his game, though. Excellent footwork in that lane. Triple drive. Don't settle for the deep one. Herman, the more. Almost a sellout to it. Donaldson. Passed up a three, and Houston comes away with a shed racing to the hole. Goes to the other side, and he's heading to the line. Uh, he knew just a draw that foul. What a great read on the other end. And how about the explosiveness with some sore knees? <laughs> yeah, so much for tendonitis, huh? Right? <laughs> Look at this blow by. I mean, nobody can catch up with a smart play. He's in a rim. Back on that final four team two years ago, he backed up. Dejan Giroux, who still stays in touch with his old teammates, as does Fabian White and Gorman. 
Gorham and all the guys from that team feeling a part of it as you can see complete coverage of the NCAA Division One women's tournament on NCAA.com. So they've been trying to build to a run to possibly get back to their hometown in the final four. But getting all they can handle from Auburn has put up a great effort. Uh, this Auburn team in this league, that's what helped them, I think. Competition every night. Played well down the stretch, even in some losses after that tough night up in Kentucky. Yeah, they went into the NCAA tournament having won only four of the last 13. Four and nine with no two consecutive wins in that stretch. A nice little play. Oh, smart. Little guard forward situation. Able to get it down there. That's Spowell and Janey into Broom with relative ease. Big man working hard for it. A nice little cross screen set it up and then a curl back by Broom. It's nine fouls on Houston. So he's getting to the free throw line as you noted know though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he'll shoot two here. It'll be two the rest of the way. He's five out of ten at the line. Eight percent for the year. Struggled a bit, but man, he is so smart as a player, as a big guy, has a great feel, great instincts. Doesn't have that great lift. He just understands how to play and use his positioning on both ends. Well, what's amazing, they block shots, so he's not one of those elevator guys. Exactly. It's them both. Houston comes out with it. You know, I was looking the last time these two schools met was during the heyday of Five Slam and Jamma. There were four Hall of Famers that met that day. Guy Lewis, the coach, Drexler, Olajuwon, and Charles Barkley in a game won by Houston. Here's Mark. Yes. And, you, and right there, Samson, I think his NBA experience taking advantage of mismatches, knowing Mark is getting it going, and having him matched up against the smaller Johnson. Now you forgot the Hall of Fame announcer in there, <laughs> by the way. Just out of school. <laughs> Too kind. That was a season where Houston made it all the way to Albuquerque and NC State and one of the most famous yeah. games ever. Won by the Wolfpack. Here's Berman. That's his game. Rebound saved by Sharp. And Shed sees daylight. Sees Roberts outside. Sharp, can he do it? Rebound. Well done by Williams. As a reach in. Oh, that's a big one on Shed. His fourth. Two lead guards with difficulty. Kelvin pleading on the sideline. Why? You appreciate the effort there from Shed, but I don't know. Tell you what, he may have gotten pushed off yeah, for that. He may not have been a foul yeah. on that one. Pretty good reaction. What are you going to do? He's going to bring in Terrence Arsenault, I believe, a freshman. And not a guard as we know it, but more of a swing guy. I'm going to take him out, though. Yep. So you got. The backcourt of Shad and Sasser both on the bench with four fouls. Now, if you're Houston, who brings the ball up yeah. you on the offense? Is it Mark? Uh, uh, I, I would think Sharp has got to be Sharp. slide back there. Shed, a little Shed bit. went out and he's back on the floor for a moment. He doesn't want to go out. It. Two shots. Maybe after this first shot, he'll sub out. I think they have Johnson. Yeah. yeah. Now he's going out for Arsenault. So you got a freshman and a freshman in the backcourt with Arsenault. And was sharp. And Mark also is a guard, listed as guard. And right now, you, if you're Bruce Pearl, you've got to step up the pressure right there. There's Get Mark. After He's going to be the key player right here for Houston. And the big thing that was runouts, too. Are you accustomed to balancing the floor? And he got fouled. And how about this young man right here? The success he's had getting into the paint. A little cross action down below. The defense wasn't in position to help, and Mark staying aggressive, having an impact in the second half. A confident kid, too. I mentioned his ability to get in the lane, but a pretty decent stroke as well. And it reminds me a little bit of a former NCAA champion, Stacey Alden. I agree with that. With UNLV played Very great so. defense, left handed. Comes out of the same high school, Dickinson High School, that produced Houston's Heisman Trophy winner. Andre Ware. Oh. Stacy didn't play you. You didn't play him, right? In the played 91 summer. Played in 91. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You matched up with him. I thought you told me. I, I guarded him. Oh. Two for two at the line, Mark. Are they trying to save you for the offensive end? <laughs> Mark with 10 points this half. Much needed for Houston. 
on a score. Let's see if Auburn gets after them a little bit. Look at this show. A much better rotation. Pass to Carwell, to Johnson, the three. Well, they're gonna get sharp with a foul that'll send them for three at the line. Or when you fly by, this guy's got a great sense of humor. A little bit like Shecky Green, my might add. Huh? The guards. Look at that little. Assuming Johnson can make this free throw if you're Auburn, I'd extend the little press a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Get after him. Got two more. Two more, yes. Auburn in the second half is nine out of 16 from the line. So they've struggled. And they've struggled again with only one out of 14 field goals. Missing their last 11. Now this kid, a man of many faces, what a character he is. He, he could actually be a good TV producer. <laughs> I like him in the analyst role. Yeah. <laughs> there they go. See if they can rag him a little bit. Sharp's going to bring it up. Try to force him to his left a little bit. Inexperienced backcourt yeah. for Houston with Arsenault and Sharp. Well, look at the hands here. Look at the adjustment. Flanagan, Flanagan now on Mark, a little bit bigger. And no ball work. up ahead. It's Green. He's going to catch up to it and trim it with the frenzy. basket to one. And that's what they had to do. Feed the frenzy. Be a little more aggressive knowing the two prime ball handers are on the pines. Mark. Shot. At the rim. And he thought about settling for that three. <laughs> a little hesitation. Once again, getting it to the rim there. I think you got to keep the ball in his hands and let him ISO those opportunities. Top score in the game with 18. A counter for Auburn. If he gives it up, you don't let him get it back. Williams has been quiet. Blocked again. Listen, is racking up the blocks in this game. That's now 11 block shots. It's just a run out of aggressive defense and green. And other guys have been very quiet on the dribble drive. This guy. As it, he's found his mark. <laughs> and, yes. to drill it. and by the way, they bring in Walker, who had been sitting for a while. He's got three fouls on the inbounds. It doesn't go. And tapped out to Sharp. And they ran that same play and had success, Auburn, in the first half. Just couldn't convert on that layup. Walker has five blocks. Roberts has five blocks. Let's see if they keep him away from the ball while an offensive foul by Roberts saying he moved. Goodness, that looked pretty good. I hit that inbound play. Flanagan, once again, a back cut. You empty out the side. Just could convert, but once again, catching Houston falling asleep on the inline out of bounds play. And Kevin not happy with that call. I wouldn't be either. They've done a great job keeping the guards out of the lane. For William Brew trying to lock low. Green trying to get to the paint. Look at that offensive foul with great defense. Woo. I didn't see it, coach. Well, I think he may have extended the extended arm. arm. Okay. We're, we're blocked a little bit from it. Right there. Yeah. That's so yep. three pretty good mark green. Ball. Pretty good footwork by Walker. Yeah. Playing that guy without fouling. I think it nickel dimer. That's going to put Mark at the line for a one on one. It's really a makeshift lineup. I mean, Houston plays eight or nine guys most times, but this is not exactly the lineup that you see as a composite put together very often. They had to go this way with those two starring guards, both in foul trouble. And, and Jim, I mean, this is not the guy who carries the team either, Tremont Mark, but stepping up when your team needs it. And he has certainly done that. It's the front end of a one-on-one, -on -one, which they failed to do a couple of occasions on the front end in the first half. And with his play, you can buy time. You can leave Sasser and Shed on the bench as you're nursing this lead. Second one somehow goes. My goodness. That was a 720, not a 360. I think he's still on the bike over there, if I'm not mistaken. Broom's got to get a touch, I think, inside. Lanigan. Back out to Williams. Three. Nice checkout by Roberts. They got broom. 
Oh. Arms were tangled with Roberts. I didn't know which way they would go. But you've got to get it inside. Watch this. Oh, lose it all. Wow. It's like one of your putts, Chip. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. They don't go in. I, I tell you, this this cost them because they didn't give room on a post up a touch. I think he could have called that either way on that one. Both of them are wrestling down there. Roberts, one on one. He missed the front end in that first half. He was upset. Walked away, slumped shoulder. <laughs> Somehow that one, too. They're getting some fortuitous action around the rim. Well, they missed a lot of them, as you said, in that first half. As a team, collectively, now concentrating, taking their time, and being more efficient from the free throw line of the Cougars. And, and, and I'm just, I think he's going to wait up to four and maybe yo yo the guards that are on the bench. If it ain't, if yeah, broke, he's going great. Yeah. Keep it. Houston, 10 for 10 from the line in the second half. Well, that's what team's all about, though. Guys have to step up with. Emergency situations again. Nice front. Hey, you got pro. One thing is getting free. The other is getting the guy to pass it. Jasper Tough shot. drives in, and he'll be shooting free throws. Arsenal make contact. Well, they got away from that game, didn't they? Auburn dribble drive. Green not dominating like he was early in the first half. Well, good things happen. They dribble drive. They score. Or they get to the line. They've done that both halves. And as you said. Unable to get into the paint. Zepp Jasper at the line, one of the oldest Division I players at 25. Spent a lot of his career at college at Charleston. Watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with Fast Break presented by AT&T 5G in the March Madness Live app. Scan the QR code now to download. Got one of two. To right away the rag, everybody up. Again, you're going to be, will they apply some pressure against a team that doesn't have its traditional ball handlers? Try to trap or something. A a little token. Token. I'm sure. surprised they did. Yeah, you would have thought they might have. Went for it low. He's got the size advantage. Tough shot there. <laughs> they got fouled. He got bailed out on that. They did. That was Maybe a tough one, one more dribble, I think, for him. Well, this hey. is just his opportunity to shine. <laughs> He's going to take whatever he can. Kelvin can't holler at him. That challenge on the wrist, easy call. You know, it's funny as a player, they, they call a foul on you. You know you fouled the guy, but you still, you still act like in anguish. <laughs> yeah. Dry off the floor, and Mark smartly walked away. Didn't want to just stay there and think about it. He's got two opportunities here. He's got a big upside, this kid. Been fun watching him during the course of the year. Well, it's interesting, too, with him at the point guard position, the matchup nightmare. I mean, Green, so little, as well as Jasper, he can just get in that paint every time, and he's done so. And again, favorable. Get the soft roll. That's your favorite rim, from what I recall. That rim <laughs> has been awful good to Houston. Approaching five minutes to go. The nice duck in. This is what they should be doing. Not a good shot, but they get to the free throw line. Roberts is furious about that call. That's just that little baseline flex cut, and they got away from it. I think they should ride that. Third foul on Roberts. Yeah, no, he fouled him on the arm there. But look, at some point, Auburn's going to have to start making some free throws here. They're getting to the line. 15 of 29, Jim, yeah. just not taking advantage of these opportunities. Broom is 5 out of 12. Ooh, is. His confidence is, uh, is dropping by the shot. Hey, here, Auburn scored 17 in the last five and a half minutes of the first half. They've got 15 in the entire second half. And really, both teams smart. It's going the other way, Houston. They know the struggle for the free throw line. Pretty good reaction by both teams. Like now, Auburn extending this pressure front face guarding on the inbounds pass. So, what you guys were calling oh. for the last time, boy, they got they were lucky. Give it up, and it's a shot. Oh, he is clobbered. Blocked twice there. Green got him on the way up, and then, of course, Broom as well. But good job attacking the pressure. Almost an opportunity to score. Green blocked it. And I'll tell you, got hit Broom. in the head, falling into the ground. No foul call. So just Houston to inbound. Uh, get it, get it to number 12. There you go. 
Now you get organized. Get Walker right side, one four low. And let him go. One four low. He get him to a spot and elevate. He's waving him away. You got LeBron at the point here. I play Jalen Pickett right there. Yeah, Back him yeah that's right. Guess what? Green is more. now in foul trouble. That's his fourth. He's got to be careful. I mean, he's 5'10 going against the 6'5 I like this. opponent. Fern was very under control as a referee, too. Calming him down, doesn't want to cost him. The green still. The green needs to be chirping. Yep. In the bonus, so two the rest of the way for each side. On the rack, I mean, give it to the officials. They've been consistent both ways, calling it close. Yep. Very good. Throughout the tournament, I haven't noticed many I agree. Uh, incidents or they take. Well, I thought they might take Green out with the four, but they take Jasper out and bring KD Johnson, and so they give them that Johnson Green backcourt. Well, they, they need those guys to do some damage. If it's not Broom in a low post, probably going with Broom is his inability to make free throws, too. It's tough. Yeah. Mark now with 24 points in the game. And all this maybe happening go. right now with Sasser and Shad on the bench for almost four minutes. This is the guy, too, where he's got to get going again. Walker, Walker has four. Gotta move the legs. The blow by is driving in. Look at that by Walker. Didn't give up on the play. He was beaten off the bounce, but what a reaction by the big fella. <laughs> Six blocks, guys. This kid right here, so incredible. Green, almost wide open. Man, great recovery. Nice pass. And again, they're running those out of bounds plays easily. Uh, don't score, and unfortunately, Brooks got to shake the cobwebs and. Uh, think positively. Bruce Pearl always does that 1 4 lineup on the baseline. So many different sets there. Houston has another player with four fouls, and that's Jawan Roberts. And by the way, Walker, who has three fouls, the six blocks is a Houston NCAA tournament record. What do you think about the big E? Yeah, Kim Olajuwon. <laughs> He's got the record now. Wow. Six in a tournament game. And unfortunately, Room with a big time struggle. And he's shaking his head now. A little divine intervention might help. Five out of 15. There you go. Six for 16. And they got him on the ball now. Should be a corner trap. Got nice. Out quickly, sharp. You don't need the Walker. Nice pass. Cheney! <laughs> and smart Walker avoiding that charge on that delivery. I saw it coming. I watched you. The slide by. It's Williams. He hit these in the first half. Now drive it in. Back of the rim and sharp with the rebound. And he is fouled. I'll tell you what, these kids have stepped up in an extraordinary fashion. But there's dire situation with uh, the ability to attack and then present yourself, give a passing lane. Unfortunately, at the end, it does go in for Houston, but big time attack and a presser. Look at Auburn shooting. Raft, second half, two out of 20. And the free throws, that's dismal too. No question. And I got to think Kelvin really got after his team at halftime too. They didn't recognize him, weren't guarding, weren't involved. They got some water damage, I believe, on the far end of the floor. That's where uh, the foul occurred. And two players uh, hit the floor. Maybe even some blood. But Mark has been magnificent. Would you agree? Oh, 24 points, uh, just seven rebounds. And he's had to do it with his backcourt mates sitting in crunch time. He's the backcourt. Yeah, he's, the, point, you know, he's uh, running the show. This kid Sharp's been getting all these minutes, too. And he's going to have a couple of free throws. He scored five off the bench. He's got four rebounds, including that last one. 89%. You want him on the line. How about this, guys? I mean, Sasser, Shed on the bench. <laughs> These guys here. The score was 56-53. And how they've been able to just execute on the offensive end, get the stops, play winning basketball. I don't come back with them. No. I, I wait. What you're saying is 14 to 4 since they yeah. both went out with all the backups. Incredible. In an NCAA tournament game. And your nice one by Jeffrey. Sharp. Sharp. It's alive after. again. It's alive. It is. Mark's got it. Mark comes in. Follow up. No. But chased down by Arsenal. How about Walker's involvement, too? 
And they got clocked on their side now. I'll tell you what, the only miss Mark has had here. <laughs> yeah, it was an easy one. Easy layup, the right. easiest shot. That was a great call by you, Rap, right in front of us. <laughs> that ball is alive. Look at the help. Outside, Sharp. Uh, not in time. So. You know, well, they got one thing out of it, the time. Yes, they did. Three and a half to go. I see Shed's going. That's five. Even Shed as a point guard got in the action as well. Both Shed and Sasser Grant are on the floor for Houston. And let's go over to Tracy real quick. Jim listening in to Bruce Pearl. He talked about execution. He said this is not the time to wait for your number to be called. You need to execute. Then he begged Jalen Williams to take a charge. He said make them call the whistle. We need stops and we need to score. Nice slip pass. They dropped the ball for a moment and Broom scores inside. And the activity on the baseline sort of set that up. Top score for the Tigers tonight with 14. A nice trap at him for calling the timeout. Yeah, Mark saw there was danger. Mark so did a marvelous job, as you noted, Jim, and shed as well on the floor. One one last footnote on that for Mark: 16 of his points have come in the last seven minutes of this game. And how about their free throw shooting? Pretty impressive too. 22 of 27. 16 of 16 and a half. <laughs> Three minutes now remaining. I love using the guard for the ball screen too. He's going to take over. He's going to take a three. Ball tapped out. KD Johnson saves it. That's what Auburn needed. They needed a stop. And Broom getting right to the rim too. Johnson oh, in perfect trap. Lanigan, good Good job. for both the feet. Impressive. A lot of time going here. Ten to shoot. Giving him anything. Flanagan comes into the paint. Ball comes out, and they say it's going to be Walker. And that is going to be his fourth. And Walker tried to wall him up there on that play. I thought Flanagan did a great job initiating that foul. It took him a long time to get there, though. Walker, Walker just trying to keep his hands up. And from that angle, he just lost the ball. The last seven times Auburn has gone to the line for two shots, they've missed at least one. That was pure. You gotta make this free throw now, Jim, and then once again set up this pressure. And a 75% free throw shooter. Probably you have, you really have four ball handlers out there from Houston if you include Walker as well as a big. He's a guy that can post up over the top two if they need it. They got them both. I would like to have seen them do it earlier with their guards were on the bench, Sasser and Shea. They tried, but not as effectively. Shed way up ahead to Roberts. Nobody back. Ah! Is there for the dunk. Talk about deployment and execution. Big time prep to get that. Send it in, big fella. Lead is back to double digits after being 10 down at the half. Williams lays it in. And, and he gets one. Pretty good counter. He was tough early in the game, but how about this? And really intelligent getting to the rim. Big time find and assist. Jawan Roberts, known around the rim. Ah! Dropping one there. But here, it's Roberts fifth committed right there. Yeah, he kind of brought his left arm down right there. And would have been so important to this team to anchor defensively, play tough. He played, well, six points, seven rebounds, and five blocks of his own. The little things, the details, as Kevin Kelvin Sampson says. Well, the lead is down to eight with a three-point play. Uh, this team is comfortable pressing too. Just they got to plan when they're going to double. Johnson trying to stunt. But they don't take away the sideline. Under two. The lead is eight. Bruce saying no foul. Shed looking for some help. Looking for a little body of Walker. Now he clears out. Shed's going to drive in and kick it out. Sasser from the corner. Dagger! That's a three. Big time. Dagger. Shed and Sasser, they work so well together. They do. You saw it right there. As Green is out of control. And Houston's got a break to the basket. Sasser. How about that? Oh, 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 oh. Too many white shirts down the floor. Goodness. Did they turn the D on in this second half? 
And Dean not letting them get an easy look here. A minute left. Williams. Nice cut. Yes. Oh, goodness. Well, Rav, you said it best. This team right here, down 10 at halftime. Sasser in the open court. Missing the layup. And once again, who's there? Tremont Mark with the putback. Adding on to his career high, but facing adversity. Down 10 on the road, if you will. Yep. There's backcourt gets in foul trouble and finding a way. You know, in those journeys to the Final Four, you got to have that gut check moment. And Mark looking around, by the way, he's feeling awfully good out there. He wants this game to keep going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One thing that Samson has really hit home with this team all year long is getting them to believe that you always step up to the moment as they have gone again into so many hostile environments and won every true road game this year and even when it comes to like Auburn's getting a game in Alabama another thing he's often preached is be careful what you wish for meaning for the opponents who think they have something that an might edge. give them an edge you think so be careful what you wish for uh, talk about defense traveling and they do they are so strong at that end of the game they can be off on that offensive end, but they can just stop you cold. Two for two for Shed. Complete turnaround. 48-23 is the scoring in the second half. And Green really not a factor. Tough shot. Everything challenged right now. Pulled down by Mark. Pulled him off. Houston fans are chanting Sweet 16, which is where they're heading to Kansas City. It's the first one seed to make it to the Sweet 16 with Alabama, the only one other than Houston still alive coming Look up at the top of this floor. That was again Shed to Sasser. Boy, how about flipping the script from one half to the other? Taylor, two different halves. Suddenly incredible. Walker pulls it down in this game. I'm just going to get run out at this point. 50 23 Houston advantage to the second half. Number 12 says Shed. He comes over and says, Number 12 did it. He's not kidding. Now that's what you call teamwork. When they talk about the family, the family atmosphere, well, family on display, getting it done, supporting one another, and stepping up for one another when they need it most. Had their backs, no question about it. And developing a pretty good bench right now. What do you think of it? Uh, confidence. Houston advances to a Friday matchup against either Miami or Indiana. How about that? Miami, Coach Laranega, Indiana, what it's done. Of course, Kelvin used to be the coach at Indiana, so there's some sweet storylines either way right there. But Mark tonight, 26 points and nine rebounds, but the Houston defense holds Auburn to only four baskets the entire second half, four out of 24. And what's forgotten with Mark is maybe the leadership qualities that he exuded out there. Got him organized, waving people off. Take it over. And let's take it over to Tracy. Thanks a lot, Amira Tremont Mark. And what a half for you guys. You guys were down 10 going into the locker room. What was said inside there? I mean, that's just our coach. Hey, he really hey. him. You really nice. Hey, that's just our coach. You know, going inside the locker room, you know, we didn't even hang our heads. We were just, we just talking about what we got to do uh, coming out the half, and that's what we did. We executed well. We played defense. We played way harder than we did in the first half. I'm just loving you here, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. With Jamal and Marcus in foul trouble, how important was it for you to step up? A career high 26 points tonight. Uh, I knew it had to do when they went out, especially when, especially in the type team we were playing. They're a great team, a uh, big solid team. So I knew what I had to do, and I executed. I believed in myself, and I did well. Off to the Sweet 16. Off to the Congratulations. Sweet 16. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Trace. They say it's for the city.